All right, so the question is, Dantes, you have been found to have not cheated. There was nothing on your phone. What do you want to say to Key? Mm -mm. I don't want to be in a relationship with you. Oh! I just want you to lose my phone number, don't call me, or none of that. I'm done, okay? It's done. Watch until the end and let us know about your thoughts in the comment section. Like the video, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. To watch more amazing moments, this video is made for entertainment purposes and contains significant original text commentary. What's something you've never told your parents? That I've taken like three plan B's. Jeez, did you take in three? Yeah, like multiple days in a row. So sometimes I use my mom's credit card because she's like, oh, if you need to use something, I'm like, I'm just used to get medicine. <laughs> she belongs to the streets. Let me just stay with this for a second. There's a child born. Mm -hmm. The man impregnated the woman. The woman bore the child for nine months, carried the child for nine months. Now the child is born. The woman says, I don't want to pay for that child. I don't want to spend time with that child. I've got to get on with my college, with my life or something else. I'm not ready to have a child. And so I'm giving it up for adoption. Is a woman allowed to say that? Yes. Even though there's a child in the world Sorry. saying, I don't want responsibility. Not be responsible. If a right. woman can say, I don't want responsibility, yeah. is a man allowed to say, I don't want responsibility? Uh-oh. Not, I, I think not if wow. the woman is keeping responsibility for the child, then I think the man has to have some responsibility, me. minimally. Oh, pardon me. You're, Why you're, don't you wait till I'm your, finished? Your sexism is showing. Your sexism is showing. Responsibility is not just a duty. It's the cornerstone of our character. It's the conscious acknowledgement that our actions both big and small, shape not only our own destinies, but the world around us. In the tapestry of life, every thread of responsibility contributes to the fabric of a more compassionate and accountable society. It's not merely about what we owe, it's about what we can give, understanding that the impact of our choices extends far beyond ourselves. Women ask for honesty, but yes. when they get it, they don't pay attention to it. So you can't be upset about calling men liars and saying you want honesty when you get it and either you get upset and you start arguing and fighting because you don't want to hear the truth sure. or you just blatantly ignore it and then you try to flip it later. There's no excuse for that. I and, agree. And, and, and we go, th as men, we go through so much as a result of that and nobody stands up for us when the story gets flipped. In the midst of heartbreak, it's crucial to remember that pain doesn't define you. You are not the sum of someone else's choices. You are a resilient soul capable of healing and growth. As you navigate through these emotions, know that your strength lies not just in enduring the storm, but in emerging from it with newfound wisdom and courage. Your heartbreak is not the end, it's a turning point, a chance for you to rediscover your worth and pave a path towards a brighter, more authentic future. If you punch me three times right now, and I punch you once, right? What, what's the, what, tell me about how you feel about the situation. Who, what's gonna hurt more? Which one is more grave? I mean, I think, I think the better question is if you punch me three times, I punch you once. <laughs> It'll probably still hurt you more, but I understand what you're saying. However, the way I see it is, if you know I'm stronger than you, mm. why would you punch me in the first place? Never outshine the master. Law 1. This law emphasizes the importance of remaining discreet and not overshadowing your superiors. It suggests that displaying excessive talent or intelligence can threaten their position and invite envy or resentment. Link to the book below. Okay, if you know that I'm weaker than you, why would you punch me? Because everyone has a breaking place. point. Everyone has a point where... Yes, it's gone too far. You can't be, I can't take this disrespect anymore. And I, I'm not going to lie to you. It's absolutely disgusting. The idea that women know that men can't hit them back mm. or are expected to not hit them back because if they do, their career is over, their life is over. They'll probably get, end up going to prison. So <laughs> one time I was um, with my ex and he used to have girls call his, his phone all the time, right? And one time me and him were just chilling and the girl is calling 
and he answered he didn't answer me like the right way about the call and i was just so like upset because i already knew what it was i already like there's a contest behind it whatever the case is i slapped him hey i slapped him hey. i did and you know what he did you know what he did he slapped me back and you know i said in my head i said why did you slap me? <laughs> you are sick in a culture where masks are worn as a shield embracing authenticity becomes a revolutionary act Choosing to lay bare our true selves is not a sign of weakness, but a testament to inner strength. Authenticity is the unwavering commitment to live in alignment with our values, to speak our truth even when the world encourages silence. It's the recognition that honesty is not just a policy, but the cornerstone of relationships that stand the test of time, a beacon guiding us through the labyrinth of life with integrity and grace. Yeah, man, you know, got that on me. Are you fucking serious? What? <laughs> you got all that money, and you wouldn't buy me the hundred dollar pair of slides I wanted? What are you talking about? I asked you to buy me the slides in there. They're Versace's, and you said, no, I'm not going to buy you those. I don't have no money. And you going to pull that fat ass wad of cash? Yeah, I don't got no money for you. You, you can bro. You ain't a, and no. And then I asked you, bro, can we go eat? You said, yeah, but you're going to have to pay for your own meal. Okay, I don't. That's, that's what I look crazy. like. Oh, no sugar daddy, I don't no, got but it. But you got all that fucking money. He's talking about I don't got it. I don't got it. All right. Get out. All right. Get you out. Get out. Get out. All right, sir. I'm fucking out. It's an evil world we live in. But hey, I'm going to keep living. And this is why I ask men for money up front, because I know that you're already talking to three or four girls, so at least I could get my bills paid out of this. Until player culture stops, that's when women will stop. But if you guys want to date multiple women, if you guys think it's cool to play women and do all these things, then we want our bills paid. We want Chanel bags, period. All these women getting upset that these men are going abroad to find wives haven't given them one good reason why they should stay. You're acting combative and masculine and making them run even faster. I came out of college, I had been with one guy. Talk to girls coming out of college now. Good luck finding a 19 year old who has that same way. I said, okay, a woman is more attractive if she has been more selective, has had more self-respect, hasn't been around the block a million times, hasn't given away the goods too easily and has saved herself for experiences that matter. Promiscuous women, modern feminists may not like that point, but that is a reality. I know my husband, he very much appreciates the way I chose to live my life. And you know who gets offended, Rolo? Women who've slept with everybody on earth hear this and they're like, what? What is he saying about me? Take a moment and self-reflect. Yeah, he's talking to you, and he's probably right. The true measure of character reveals itself not in moments of ease, but in the crucible of challenging decisions. Choosing not to play games and adhering to the path of righteousness, especially when it demands unwavering resolve, is a pledge to stand tall amidst the tumult of ethical dilemmas. Doing the right thing even when the journey is arduous, is a conscious alignment with the moral architecture that transcends fleeting victories. It's the forging of a legacy that withstands the erosion of time, built on the bedrock of principled action and unwavering commitment to truth. Thank you for staying with us throughout this incredible journey. We'd love to hear which moment resonated with you the most. Please share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more captivating content. See you in the next. Never outshine the master. Law 1 This law emphasizes the importance of remaining discreet and not overshadowing your superiors. It suggests that displaying excessive talent or intelligence can threaten their position and invite envy or resentment. Link to the book below.